Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Rebecca Realm here, and today I'm going to do a card reading for Mel. I'm going to be using the the Wild Unknown Tarot Guidebook, or well, not guidebook, but tarot card. Um, right now I'm currently running some burning some sage, and um, we're going to sage my cards to wipe some energy away. So right here's my bowl. <clears throat> Don't want to burn my cards, but we're going to let that burn in here. There we go. Burn it. Whoa, almost dropped my cards. Damn Leos. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. Smells good to go. We'll work on that. So, we have Mel here. And we're going to do some card readings. I am going to lay out cards right here on the table. <laughs> we might have to kick her into that room for now. See, the only thing is with these cards, my hand is super small, the size of the card, so it's like shuffling it, you know. You did a pretty good job. It's called practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting used to the cards plus... You know, they're new cards, so they, you know, take some time to break it into it. He thought he's interested. It's okay. <laughs> he probably likes the sage. I think he does. <laughs> he's like, he's sniffing the air. He's like, come on, this must be. Okay. Let's see how we're going to do this one. I'm going to do a clarity spread. So, first card. I pull out. <laughs> it is the Daughter of Cups, which you've gotten before, so, and it looks like this. I like that one. So, trying to. So, I got the Daughter of Cups here. And then, got the one, two, three. Five of Cups. So horsey in the Cups. And then we got the Daughter of Wands, mm -hmm. which is a snake wrapped around a thing. And, <laughs> and then we got this, which I'm not sure quite yet what it is, but it's it's Wands. But that's a pretty cool card. Okay. First card we got is the Daughter of Cups. <laughs> we gotten this before. Um, so I pulled this out for her before the last time. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Daughter of Cups is creative, emotional. Creative energy abounds from the Daughter of Cups. She's romantic, artistic, and easily inspired by her surroundings. A true dreamer by nature, she struggles to stay grounded or to deal with harsh realities that come her way. Conflicts of any kind is very disturbing to gentle creature. So basically, this is about your writing, that you need to stay grounded and keep doing what you're doing to continue your writing. Yeah. 
but you know you have those struggles you bounce back and forth from it yeah I do <laughs> it's hard and to stay grounded <laughs> it is hard to focus and everything yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is so sometimes I'm just like okay this card right here five of cups five of cups indicates a time of sorrow a relationship may fall apart or old friend could slip away you have this card too there will be disappointment, even regret. When this card appears, it's important not to make any hasty decisions. It may also be helpful to look at the type of expectations you place on others. Perhaps they can never do enough to please you. So basically, you're discouraged with yourself, basically. You have an inner battle with your writing because you always rewrite everything. Yeah. And you don't stick to one thing. You think, you know... Your expectation is higher than you should be. Yeah, I'm very picky, and um, you I should always go with your first. Second guess myself. And you should always go with your <laughs> yeah. first instinct. Yeah. Because if you second guess yourself, you could screw everything up. Yeah. Like, like the first card, stay grounded. Yeah. That's basically what they're trying to tell you, and here's the proof. Yeah, because I've been rewriting the same story for like past year now, <laughs> so for over a year, and I'm like, okay, I need to just write the story, you know, just. To, just write this novel, stop being picky. <laughs> so you got, the next card, you got Daughter of Wands. Daughter of Wands, this one right here, guys. It's a very pretty card. Yeah. Daughter of Wands is a free spirit, a true visionary creature. She usually waits until later to settle down or start a family. As she's busy with her career, she can be stubborn and much, much stronger than she looks. As with all the wands in the family, the daughter makes a dangerous enemy. This card can also represent a woman going through a transformation or a spiritual breakthrough, which you are. Yeah. You know, you having your ups and downs, you you know, it's it has to deal with writing, definitely. Yeah, I'm stubborn too. <laughs> yes, and you know, you are true, your writing is, you know, it's, it's good, but you always have this doubt that it's not good enough. Yeah, well, I often say, you know, why would why would anyone want to read my writing? Why would anyone care? <laughs> you know, but I'm but like, you're much stronger than you think you are. Yeah, you think you're weak and you're not, and you just got, you know, push through. You know, you're strong. Your writing is strong. People are gonna want to hear your 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 imagination is like amazing. I mean, I'm biased because I'm your wife, but. Yeah. I feel like people say I'm creative and I have a crazy imagination. I'm like, yeah, I might as well put it in my writing. <laughs> it is. You like this card right here. It is three of wands. That's pretty. I like that. Let's I like, like the, the colors. <laughs> three of wands indicates you have continued support from others, perhaps from your parents or two good friends. With their help, you form a sense of self, of your values and morals. But now it's time to rely on yourself for guidance. Clarity your, clarify your goals and cast other needs and opinions aside. The future is infin infinite, and it, it is yours. No one else can see through its layers of light and shadow. Which is true. You're always looking for approval from others. I mean, yes, I am your strong support. But you also have to learn to rely on yourself, too. To push your through yourself when you, you can't I can push you as much but you're stubborn and yeah. don't listen <laughs> so you have to do this you have to go on this journey that you're going on right now yeah and you have to do it for yourself you can't you don't want you shouldn't do it for others to please others yes yeah, so right from my heart and from my perspective yes you're like, yes <laughs> you like their opinions about your story but the thing is they're not in your mind. They're not going to help you get that creative side. Yeah. Yes, they might give you good feedback, but the thing is, they might want to write it a different way than you do. Yeah. You want to stick with what your values are, what you want with your stories. Yeah, and then I start second-guessing myself and yes. questioning, is this good or not? So I'm like, you know what? I'm just, yeah. I mean, it's good to have opinions on others because you want to see what they, they think. Yeah. But down the line, it's all about you. Yeah, I like feedback. But, I mean, when I'm t told, to that this doesn't work, this doesn't work, and I have to get the whole story, it's like, well, what's the point of writing it, you know? So That's why you don't want to really listen to those feedback, because, yeah. you know, some people are just negative about everything, 
and then they're just going to be like, oh, this is not good. you got to cut this, this, and this out, and it just ruins the whole story. Yeah. What you're doing right now with the story, which I don't know yet, but... <laughs> <laughs> I'll read it to you. <laughs> um, it's your perspective and how people are, are going to like because you're adding things. You know, yes, I gave you some tips and everything, but the thing is, down the line, it's how you... Pers- perceived it not yeah. what others perceived it yeah that's why i just started so i'm like you know what i'm gonna do my own thing <laughs> yes yeah. and be stubborn i guess it's where the stubbornness comes into play and it help, where, where it's helpful but if you follow it's through stubborn. everything it's gonna come out great yeah your novel's gonna be just the way you feel like it should be not what others feel yeah sounds good to me and that's it for today that's gonna pull a future card <laughs> just kidding I mean, I could do a future card, yeah. which is on the bottom. Or a future guidance card, something like that. We got the lovers. Is is, I don't know. The, the lovers. lovers. Oh. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. Let's see what the lovers is all about. Um, we'll see what it's about. Um, that would be so weird. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he is distracting. I know, but he's cute. <laughs> okay. Lovers. Hey, they're Canadian geese. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> the two Canadian geese are mates for life, traveling partners with an expansive, expansive sky. The love, the lover card is a welcome sight in any reading, as it suggests a beautiful and strong relationship on the horizon. Yes, you'll experience all the thrills of desire and romance, but meanwhile, you'll be building a solid foundation together. The lovers honor and respect each other, and with that, they can go anywhere. If you're already in a relationship, it's time to be grateful and nourish the rare and precious gem. Basically, what is telling you, what we have together is good, and just keep on being grateful that, you know, yeah. you have that support system, you have that person there with you every day. Yeah. Where it's and don't take... Don't take me for granted. <laughs> yeah, there okay. comes that play. Yeah, we're a team. <laughs> and, you know, it's just going to get stronger. Like, we are, a, you know, we're a strong unit. So, and that's the future. <laughs> Our love is just going to get better. And that is my first, well, not really my first reading, but my first reading for you guys to show that, you know, I'm going to, I'm getting better at these cards, and I'm starting to... Do you see how long it took me to look for those pictures? Not long, because I know exactly what these were, are, which is... I've done my research. So, that being said, you know, I'm going to start doing some readings here and there for people and everything. So, just that's how things are going to go. And I am very grateful for every single person that has gone on the journey with me. And... I'm just going to keep going, and, you know, I'm still here for everyone. No matter how big I get or how little I get, it doesn't matter. I love each every single person, and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend, and, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out. You want to say anything? Anything? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Much love all, um, and appreciate... Each and every one of you um, helping my wife's channel grow and everything. As you know, mine is really just a hobby for fun, but hers is much more than that. So, but I really appreciate everyone. So thank you so much.